folks at home, it is that time of year where the bass are spawning and the toads are mating and a topwater frog is absolutely one of the best ways to catch a bass. And so before we hit the water, I'm going to quickly discuss my top three techniques. And you simply just base it off of water temperature. If the water is really cold, you want to use a popping style frog. You want to pop it and let it sit because bass aren't really active and they're not going to chase. And if the water is a little bit warmer, you want to go with a walking frog. And the reason a walking frog works really well is because it goes left to right and it keeps that frog in the strike zone for longer. So it's sitting there walking back and forth over the nest and bass really can't stand it. And my third favorite technique is definitely the toad dangler. You guys have seen me use this technique a lot in the past. And Chase Baits just came out with a brand new frog called a bobbin frog that looks extremely realistic So I can't wait to get out on the water and dangle it from some limbs All right guys, we made it out to the water and I'm by myself today And I'm gonna be running my usual chesty cam But I want to get a little bit better shots of these blow-ups So I'm gonna be zoomed in with this tripod now. It's time to see if we can get some of those big blow-ups Yes, sir. Big bass on the bobbin frog. Love it. That mama wanted her a snack. All right guys, so I caught one nice one on that bobbin frog, but unfortunately there aren't a lot of trees around this lake. I wanted to use the toad dangler technique, but there just aren't enough limbs on the bank, so I'm gonna swap to the walking frog. That's money right there. Got him. Right before that cast, I said, that's money right there. I just knew with a bed and grass and a frog, I mean, it, it just had to happen. She bit it twice too. Another thing I've been really impressed with is have not missed a single fish that I can remember at least on that frog. It's pretty impressive. Old black bass. All right, it's time for some tackle tips. Whenever I'm fishing this new bobbin frog, I'm fishing it on 17 pound strand mono. And I get what seems like a million comments asking why I use mono when frog fishing. Folks, trust me, I've been doing this a long time. If you're fishing open water, you will get a lot more bites if you're fishing mono versus braid because they can't see the mono and fish in open water can definitely see the braid. But now when I'm fishing vegetation or when I'm fishing something like this walking frog, I'll use the braid because the braid definitely helps when you're walking a frog. But as I mentioned earlier, these are new chase bait bobbin frogs we have them in stock at bamafrogs.com and our walking frog today is a snag proof ish fat frog on 30 pound power pro braid oh got it off the limb picked it up off the limb that was almost a toad dangler i just didn't have a chance to let it dangle a little soft presentation got her to bite. What a day of fishing this has been. Can't get any better than that. Spring bass spawners. Got him. <laughs> There was some old pollen build up right there. I just walked that frog right across the old pollen and there it was. I think that's a male. I don't know. I have a little size to it. Got it sideways in his mouth. Can't quite tell if that's male or female, but big blow up though.
big and that was so awesome. I pitched it, I guess, right over the top of her bed. She just sucked it under, no big blow up. Man, that was really cool right there. She said, not in my house today, buddy. Got to love that springtime bass fishing mouthful of an ish fat frog. Links in the description. Got him. Never ever gets old. Froggies aren't allowed. Another good one. There's never a bad time to fish a frog. Wind's howling out here. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying. But the froggy bite is on. Another chunk just blew it up. Finally figured out the deal with this walking frog. The mother frogs were too past. They wanted to just ease right around their bed. Four and five pounders. Look at that right there. Gosh, I love it. Mm, 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 mm. Man, get her back and go get some more. Biggin females say no to the froggy. My favorite way to catch them. She's long and lean like that tripod. All right, let's last. On the last cast, I literally said, lucky last cast. Got him. Heck yeah, spawner, look at that red tail. <laughs> Love it. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this video, but Liz and I want to take a second to thank each and every one of you that support our tackle shop, BamaFrogs.com. That's where you can pick up the gear that we used in this video, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we've got a couple pet bass of our own out here in this pond that are spawning, and trust me, you don't want to miss it. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.